Welcome back you lovely bunch, thanks for tuning in again, I hope you're all doing good. It's an exciting day today, we're going to be building up this Marin DSX FS. So this bike was a plain black and I actually wanted to recreate a 90s mountain bike, this one up here. So I think I did a pretty good job of it. Um, I also did do uh, the fork, so we're going to be putting this together today and then we can go and give it a little bit of a pedal. So Jimmy Media does actually do a really great job of like bike build videos and they're all like ASMR. Um, if you haven't checked them out, I'll put a link down below actually. But that's just kind of, I'm gonna try and be a little bit nice with it, but it is just a matter of like slapping bits on and hitting things with a hammer and a little bit less ASMR on my channel. But the end result is always the same, a fun bike that you go and shred and build. And I'm really excited to build this. So that's enough waffling, let's get building. The trickiest part of this build, I think, for me, is um, putting the brake through. If I do it right, I don't have to re-bleed them. So, fingers crossed I do it right. But I have to feed it through. And sometimes, it can be a little bit of a pain feeding cables through. And I've just realized I've got no cable ties to tie off the cables. So, I might have to pop to the shop. But I think this should just hold the fluid inside and we can thread this whole thing through. So, let's give it a go. Wish me luck. Ooh, I think we've got a little bit of air in there. So I will have to give the brakes a little quick bleed. I suppose that's enough talking for now. We can just, um, you guys can sit back and enjoy the build. So make up a tea and relax, have a beer, or like, whatever. Let's go. So, 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 one last final touch. We have a new head badge. So I'm gonna bosh this on the front. All right, so let's get this in the middle. Or probably not in my case. There we go. What do you guys reckon? Oh, oh. I've made it even heavier though with a load of paint. What do you think? Uh, I'll give you some close-ups now, honestly. Everything's wonky on it. Ugh, bars are wonky, stems wonky. 
Yeah, it does need some fine tuning, but I'm dead happy. I mean, look at it. Do you not think that is awesome? Oh my God, I'm so excited. It's wicked, isn't it? It came out so well. What do you reckon? I reckon it's sick! Don't you think it's sick? I think it's amazing. I mean, look at it. Like, it is a beast of a bike. I think I've done a proper good job of that. So it is pretty much stock. I did change the seat to a fabric scoop, I think it is. And it does have these Elite Drive 6 wheels on it, which are like carbon spokes, and they make an awesome noise. I do need to sort my back brake out, because putting it through, I did lose some fluid, so I do actually need to fix that really quickly. But yeah, apart from that, it was a very straightforward build. Well, the annoyingness of the A, like I'm gonna skirt over that. And up close, it's not as neat as I'd like it to be. You know, I had like good intentions when I started. I was like, I'm gonna take it slow, I'm not gonna rush it. And then well, I just got into it, you know, and I wanted it finished. I wanted to be able to ride it, I wanted to build it, I wanted to show you guys it. So it is a little bit rough around the edges, but you know. I think from a distance though, it looks very good. What do you reckon? What do you think? It's a proper sick build. Um, and I think the bars actually do look quite good. Do you like it? What do you think of the wheels? Is there anything you'd change? What would you do differently? Has it made you want to paint a bike? Because honestly, check out Spray Bike. They're awesome. Paint goes on really easy. It takes like, you can do an entire bike with one can. So I do actually have a bunch of paint left. So now I'm thinking, I just have a bunch of matching bikes. I mean, I have this one. I have like the cool triangle one. Before I go, I want to put them side by side. Give me one second. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do this. But yeah, here we have this classic. There we go, the track bike. It's two different types of pink and then some like funky fluoro yellow triangles. So I do proper rate that one. I think this one is my new favorite though. What do you think? I think it is, it's just amazing, isn't it? I love what you can do with a spray bike. You can get really creative. Go to their Instagram. There's some amazing things. There's a guy called Save the Postal Service, and honestly, he puts anything anyone does to shame, and it's amazing he does it all with spray cans. But yeah, I'm super stoked, so actually. Massive thanks to Spray Bike for sending over some paint, and obviously Marin for the DSX that I got to paint. Let me know what you think of the build down in the comments. Thank you, as always, for watching. I've got to go ride this one. You're gonna to have to tune in for the next one to see how this rides and if anything falls apart, and how the paint stands up to a little bit of abuse. Right, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys very soon. Bye.